Big changes coming to a nearby state highway, but we're still years away from seeing any orange cones hitting the pavement. Our own Meredith Blair now in the studio with us to explain what we know so far about the Dorchester Road Corridor Improvement Project. In Meredith, this is going to widen the road from four to six lanes. That should really help uh, assist the traffic out there. Well, that's the hope, Justin. Fingers crossed for sure. And because the busy road runs through both Charleston and Dorchester counties, both of them are working together to tackle this very large project. One part will widen lanes between Michaud Parkway to the Charleston County line. Then from that line, Dorchester will widen all the way to Old Trolley Road. Dorchester County Chairman Todd Frittle understands the need for the project on what he calls an overcrowded road. We've got to collaborate on this. We've had a meeting last month on that. We're all working on it and we're trying to go as fast as we can to get this problem eliminated. One local who travels the road says the project is overdue and is fed up after hearing 2028 is the projected year to start construction. If you can do Glen McConnell and you can do Long Point Road and you can do this and that all over town, well, you know, we're starting to feel like stepchildren over here on Dorchester Road. This is ridiculous. A lot of thousands of people are impacted by this every day. Frittle explains the amount of government red tape that officials have to cut through makes for a long process. The red tape's going to really drag, drag us down more than anything, the construction of it actually. Normally, you wouldn't start where we're at right now until after the transportation penny would kick in in June. We were able to bond it and get the design starting, get, getting uh, uh, engineers on board, getting some of the basics so we can hit the ground running in, in June when this project can get started. Eisenbletter is ready to see less development along the road and more traffic lanes. The grass in the middle of the road between both sides is real pretty and everything, but I'd trade every blade of grass you got for some pavement. Now both counties tell me they are using funding from their transportation sales tax for this project. Dorchester actually has already applied for support from the infrastructure bank so that the state can match the funds that they put up for this. In the studio, Meredith Blair. Life 5 News.